What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have this old vintage candy machine you guys can see. Super old looking. It still has old candy in it from way back in the day. And we are going to be making sure it all works right now. When you put a, this takes nickels only. And so when you put nickels in here, they don't actually drop into this bin. So we need to take this whole thing apart. This whole thing is all one assembly. Take this whole thing out, leave just the case. This is kind of storage down here for it. And so we're going to, oh, here's one of the nickels. I don't know how that ended up down there. It goes straight to here for some reason. So, we need to figure that out. That's probably because that is pushed down. So that is like the coin release. So that is now flipped down. All right, we need to figure out why the nickels are going into there it looks like they're coming through this little hole right here um we're gonna try to figure that out so let's get this all turned taken apart these little things are just little flaps so there's candy between there and then when you pull on the knob it will drop one of these down and the candy will fall down into the base so we're going to in this whole series we're going to be restoring this whole thing getting it back to it's like factory condition we've got some tools now, which is pretty cool. We're using this Jasco paint remover because I did not want to sand and like damage the integrity of the metal and start scratching it. And we'll probably have to do a little bit of that at the end, but this is what we got. I'm gonna try and get as much of that off as possible. As you guys can see in the back, way up. So you guys can see we started a little corner down there just to try to kind of get it to see if it'll work and it does so we're gonna go ahead and start doing that let me know down in the comments below which color do you think we should paint this and we're just gonna go from there so we're gonna put you guys up on a tripod put you on a time lapse and let's start tearing it apart So we have officially got all of it on. We took the door off. We got the whole guts out of the machine right here. Um, there's the front cover, the bottom cover for the door. This thing is nasty. You can see, let me turn the light on. Uh, you can see we got some dents in here. So I'm going to be popping all of these dents out, cleaning it up, getting it all cleaned up and nice. Uh, we are going to start stripping all this paint. So this is all the paint we're going to start stripping off of it. Some of this chrome we're going to try and clean up the best we can. And try to re-chrome that if we can. So we'll f kind of go from there. Um, I'm going to have to get something to clean up the chrome on there. I think I have some Never Doll somewhere around here. Um, it's probably deep in back in this corner. I know we gotta clean this garage, it's gotten out of control. But we got a new heater, so this is kind of what's keeping me warm right now. So yeah, we're gonna continue to clean this thing up and let's just keep on going. Let's do it.
So that is where we got so far. We got all a couple of the bolts taken out. We got a couple of the pieces of metal straightened up. Um, about half of it is sanded and down to bare metal now, which is pretty cool. This has been a cool project. So let me know down in the comments below what color do you think we should paint this. We're going to look into all the options. We might go with the same type of like diarrhea green, I guess you would call that. Or we thought about going white. So I'll have a picture on the screen right here showing you guys the white. Um, just not really sure so let us know down in the comments below that's all I got for you guys hope you guys enjoyed the video like I said if you guys enjoyed it hit the subscribe button hit that little bell icon so you know when our videos go live for you guys so you don't miss a beat and that's all I got for you guys thank you all so much for hanging with the hand hearts we love you and we'll see you on the next one